Okay, so I'll start um, with the alpacas at Gorgie Farm. It's freezing because there's snow everywhere. So I'm going to work quite quickly. And I've got some willow charcoal, I've got some thick sticks, and I've got a plastic rubber. And it's probably quite helpful to me that they're indoors because they are, well these two at least, are light in colour in a dark stable. So I'm using the side of the charcoal to cover the paper and then I'm rubbing it in, smudging it. And actually normally the next thing I would do would be to draw a dark shape for, for the animal, for the subject. But because these alpaca are so light, I'm just going to draw with the rubber straight away. Now it's a challenge because they're eating and moving around. So I'll just I'll make a start and show you what I mean by that. So maybe I'll start with the body. They're such funny shaped animals, but that's the kind of oval for this one's body. And then I'll rub back to a couple of legs. Back legs, you know, are usually thicker at the top in most most animals. And then a front leg and a another front leg and then they've got these crazy long necks and I can't actually see that one's head but I can see the other one's head and they've got funny old poodle poodle like shapes so I'm doing one over there I may well just rub all this out if they give me a better view but I want to just show you this technique first so now that I've done that, I'd actually maybe like to get... So I'm back to my charcoal now. I might get a few dark bits on. Although these are light animals. At the side of the leg and the edge of the tail. Maybe on the neck. That's one way that I can do it and I can see a, a round ear. So I can add things like that, or I could actually just make the background even darker, like this. So I'm not really happy with this drawing, but I'm just showing you how you can work with the black and white of the charcoal. So I could do something like that, and maybe, maybe I can just keep working with this, because the thing that is really amazing about them, I'll just check, can you see them? Here we go, they're over here now. I'll move around a bit because I think this is good this is good practice just seeing how you you can start a drawing and then change it so what I notice is that these necks their neck often goes down a bit before you get up to the head so I can just change all that it looks silly in between but it doesn't matter because I know that I'm eventually going to get what I want and then the more I'm ready to change it, because I think their bottoms are quite high. So that's sort of a shape. Um, then they've got these, fun I don't know how much this is to do with their hairdresser, but they've got these really funny poodly hairdos. Something a little bit like that. But actually as that one's walking around, I can see its neck's much, much longer. So shall I? Let's, let's lose all that again. So I think that, that head and body is a bit better. And what I remember then is a longer neck. So I maybe move the body over a bit. Because it's just an oval. Uh, and I think it's an oval that sort of goes up. So its back end is a bit higher. So these, I'll also move those legs. So you can see it's great with charcoal, you can really play around with it and sometimes things that you think were, you know, were wrong and you wish you didn't have them, actually they end up being part of the drawing. Right, so I get a better view of some back legs now. 
And just like the pig, it goes down, then it goes back a bit, then it comes forward. I just hope you don't come and don't come and eat my board. Not yet. And then there's the front legs. So that's a little bit better. These are alpacas. I think they're called alpaca llamas. Um, so I'll try again. I'll use a bit more of the background colour. I don't know if I've completely got the shape of the body right yet. But I'm a bit happier with it. And the legs are, the, the legs are different lengths. So I just hope that when you see that I'm getting things wrong, but that I can change them and sort them out, I hope that will make you be quite happy about changing your drawings and getting them, you know, not giving up on them because they're wrong, but just carrying on further. And charcoal is just brilliant for this because you can put it on, take it off. So I'm just getting a little bit of charcoal back onto the body because I want to have a sort of black uh, surroundings. And I like the way the charcoal is building up actually because it's making the greys that I'm getting now in the body are um, they're a bit fluffy like the alpaca's fur. So the shape is still not right yet but if one of them would turn around again I can keep working on it because I think there are different parts. There's the neck obviously that's long and there's kind of shoulders and then there's the bottom. I was saying with the pig, what did I say with the pig? No, it was the Highland cows, that's right. You can, when you learn to do, when you learn artistic anatomy, you learn about the skeleton. So an animal like this, there's a skull in here, there is a, a rib cage in here and a pelvis here, so there are shapes underneath the skin and fur. Ah, hello. Right, don't eat anything, will you, please? So, I don't, can you see? Yeah, you can see them. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's what I need to do to my drawing, is make sure that I get these um, shapes that are underneath of the skeleton, of the ribcage, of the pelvis. Sometimes it helps you see the different bits, so you've got to have x-ray eyes. So that's almost, I think, what I'm going to do to that one, apart from I'm going to change it down here because they're on, they're on straw or hay or something. So I'm just using my rubber to get some of those marks for the straw. And then if, I don't know, yeah, I'll build up a bit more dark up here. I need to sort out their feet, and I would, would quite like to do more to their heads, but I can't see any heads at the moment, so I might change my page in a minute and just do a, a drawing of their heads, because they've got these incredible hairdos. They look a bit like poodles. I'll try a little bit up here. So there's a something at the top, a sort of quiff. I don't know where their eyes are. Where are your eyes? Oh, here we go. Yeah, their eyes are quite, quite far forward. And then I can see one with a little nose. So I'm just trying this out tentatively. I'm not very confident about putting in there because I can't see their heads. So I also need to look at their feet. And I suppose with the straw and that, I might be able to lose their feet. I do know that their feet go forward, very like the pigs. So I'm going to make sure I get that at least. Okay, so that's, that's reasonable. I think I'm going to stop that one. And if I can stand the cold, I'll do one more of these charcoal rubberways 
with a head. The other thing I can do to this is I can spray it. So if I, if I have trouble with the head, I'll spray this one and put some chalk on top. Might even get something slightly yellow. There are there's a couple of white alpacas and a and a couple of brown ones. So I could also try putting some pastel on top for some colour. So let's get this covered up. I'll just have a go at the head now. I'll do it in the same way. So I sprayed the charcoal drawing just with some hairspray. So that, that doesn't smudge, but I'll leave that for now. So we'll try another charcoal rub away rub it in no feeling in my fingers anymore I don't know, can you see this one here? so I think for this okay, I'm now I'm going to draw into the charcoal with, um, no, yeah, draw into the smudge charcoal with some lines, because I want to get, there's a kind of oval of their quiff, the eyes about there. And then their faces are kind of shaved. And they've got bits of beard, and then their ears come back. That's what I see. I mean, the other ones are amazing, the, the brown ones. So that's what I think I want to work with. But I'm doing it in the same way as I did the, the whole animal. I'm going to surround my lines with some black. And then I'm going to draw a bit with the rubber. And it seems to me that the tops of their heads, which are super fluffy, are quite light. And then also their faces, which are... Do they shave? I wonder... Are they shaved? Anyway, their faces are a bit light. I think their eyes are quite far forward. So I'm using the rubber to make their faces a bit lighter. I'll maybe use the rubber also to make their beards and quiffs a bit furrier. I mean, they are, they seem to be a bit like long-necked sheep. I don't know how much they understand whether this is insulting. And then if I get another look, I'll see what to do with their eyes and noses. So the brown ones, the brown ones have got black faces. But they've certainly got dark noses and then a, a mouth, a jaw. So what do I do there? Because I want to make the noses dark but I've got a black background, so maybe I'll just make the black background a bit lighter over here. Oh dear. Don't be like that. Uh, yes, so now I can see better with that one. We've got a nose. And then we've got a kind of top lip. So I'm making this nose too big. I'll have to take some of it off, but there's a definite top lip there and an open mouth something like that and then I'll use the rubber again if I could see his nose so 
So I hope that shows you that you can really change things, put them on, take them off. And then I think I want to make more of this. Furry top to his head. I wonder what they think of the snow. I presume they're from a hot country. So that one's ears are they're right back here and they're going down. So I'm moving that ear. Might be a bit better down there. and the ears are also a bit lighter but when I was drawing the pig I was trying to see the inside and the outside of the ear and what, what I think you can see with the alpacas is you can see a little bit of the outside and some of the inside uh, now what I think I'll do what I need to do I think I'll spray this one as well and then try either some white or some colour. So let's just get a bit of that neck. And actually what they do a lot of, while I've been here at least, is they sort of bend right down. So if I can get a bit more of a bend to this neck, I think it'll be more alpaca-like because sheep don't have necks like that. And no one will say, oh, a nice, nice drawing of a sheep. So I'm not sure about its eye or its beard. I maybe made too much of that beard. Can you turn again? Oh, okay. Well, actually, I think the neck comes there. And that might even be more. So I think that should be neck. And I'm not just, I'm rubbing the, char the charcoal a bit, but I'm also spreading it out. So you can do that, you can rub it right off and make it very white, or you can move it around and make some different textures. Okay, so I'll give that a spray. in the heat and then maybe I'll try a bit of car colour yeah I'll try I'm not sure I want to do the brown ones but I would like to put some white and I've got some yellow I've got a pale yellow pastel there Some white. I'll try a little bit of that. So are you dry? The yellow is very yellow. The yellow is almost too yellow. Never mind. Let's just do it. And I'm putting the yellow on, you know, to make it a bit more colourful. But I'm also putting it on, almost the way I was using the rubber. So I'm trying to do a texture for their, either the smooth bits of the face or the furry woolly parts. And let's try the white. Maybe since I've put some colour, yeah, I need to just check actually what their noses are like. There's a little bit, a tiny bit of pink in here. And the eye, 
Yes, yeah, so last time. I'm actually going to go back over with a little bit of black. So they've got seem to me to have big eyes. Because I've sprayed it, when I use the charcoal, it'll come out blacker than it did at the beginning. And it might be quite nice to get some colour in the background. to see what the green of the stable will do to my drawing. It almost looks like I should warm up these alpaca. A different sort of, it's not really a yellow, it's a kind of pale orange. Okay, I think that's all I can do. I'm freezing here. So I hope you could see enough of these al these alpaca to have a go. <sighs> try um, try the layer of charcoal, smudging it, and then drawing into it, and maybe drawing with uh, a rubber. And if you're drawing them as they move around, have more than one drawing or change the drawing um, until you, you get what you're happy with. So here they are. Uh, a couple of alpaca studies. So I think next door are the goats. So I think I'll try the goats tomorrow uh, with a biro. I'm doing it tomorrow afternoon at um, two o'clock, goats in biro. All right, well, thanks everyone. Bye-bye.